Michael Mulgrew. During his student days as an athlete, Michael Mulgrew was active in varsity golf and intramural sports. He was a student leader and served as vice president of both his junior and senior classes. He was a member of the newspaper and yearbook staff and participated in that club. After he graduated from the Bathroom, Mr. Mulgrew attended the University of Notre Dame. Mr. Mulgrew has taught architecture as well as owning his own firm, the Mulgrew Group. His firm has won numerous design and quality awards, and while based in Denver, has had clients ranging from California and Arizona to the East Coast. Mr. Mulgrew has been an active alumnus who in the mid-1980s worked with the school's leadership to upgrade its facilities and build a new wing which opened in 1990. He designed the McCarthy Center, created Monastery Plaza and the grounds from Route 1 to 43rd Avenue, as well as the building we are in today, our Convocation Center. Mr. Mulgrew's vision and inspiration has helped to transform DeMatha into the campus that you see today. His generosity to DeMatha is inspirational, and he always represented us as a gentleman and scholar. In recognition of his generosity, his commitment to the school's mission, and for his embodiment of our ideal to be a gentleman and a scholar, we award a 2012 St. John DeMatha Medal to Mr. Michael Mulgrew. opportunity to be here before you today for the celebration of St. John of Napa. Um, I'm, I'm moved a little bit um, both by listening to the great music that the band department and music department uh, have brought here today. Um, it was probably 30 years ago when the band program was started by Mr. Mitchell and Mr. Roper in three trailers that sat where the map or the, the music building now sits. So uh, we worked at that time with uh, Mr. Roper and Mr. Mitchell to create the first band room and then to, to renovate the map room or the map building to the present music facility. Um, I'm also pleased to share this award with Mike Johnson who was our ears on the ground here at the Napa while we were 1,800 miles away over the last eight years in all of the great work that, that has transpired to that time. Um, as, as you know, we also uh, often talk about the Napa family and the extended Napa family. And so I'd, I'd like to uh, make note of some of those members that are here with me today. First, uh, first, I'd like to make note of my wife, who was married by, uh, we were married by Father Damien, so the roots run deep there. Uh, my nephew, Ryan Sikorsky, is here. He's a member of the class of 2005 with his mother, Mary. Um, my brother was a member of the class in 1969. He's represented today by his son, Ryan, who works here in the D.C. area. Um, one of my best friends has come up from Jacksonville, John Carey, also a member of the class of 1972. And then we're also honored to have Terry and Mickey Devaney here today. Uh, Terry was a member of one of the Mathis' first graduating classes. He actually, his classes were in the monastery building, St. John DeMatha Hall. He had three sons attend DeMatha. And his daughter, Gail, also was married to Joe McDermott, who was an incredible athlete here at DeMatha and graduated in 73. Uh, I'd briefly like to talk to you today about the impacts, I'll take a few more minutes in Mike Jones, um, about the impacts DeMatha and the Trinitarians have had on my life, and hopefully that they may have similar impacts on your life. Um, the Trinitarians continue to be a significant uh, part in my life on a daily basis. Through their teachings and example, I bring my Catholic beliefs and value to both my architectural practice, my treatment of my employees and my clients, as well as to all in my personal life. Through them, I have learned to always have compassion and respect for all. And finally, I've learned that we may walk quietly through life 
and yet accomplish great things. Um, this is in contrast to Father Damien, who does nothing quiet. <laughs> Through the administration and faculty, I learned that one must always prepare diligently for everything in life if they're going to be successful. I learned that one must always take the extra step, make the extra commitment to maximize one's skills and capabilities, and most importantly, as I think that all faculty members here at DeMath and the administration and you students strive for excellence on a daily basis. I hope that when you leave, DeMath will have impacted your life such that in the coming years, you will be able to attend the college of your choice and ultimately have a fulfilling career based on the academic and religious foundation that was created here. Speaking quickly of our work here on campus, um, it was all based on Tamatha's pursuit of excellence. We strove daily in our design to make the campus design the very best it could be. With the support of the administration, we sought to create the feel of a small college campus whose focal point would always be the monastery or St. John de Macaulay, honoring the founding of the school by the Trinitarians and re reaffirming the omnipresence of the Catholic religion in the daily life of the school. With each building, we sought to further the quality of the DeMatha brand and give it state-of-the-art facilities to celebrate its outstanding academics, music programs, and athletics. A special thank you to Father James, John Moon, Jim Zawala, and Tony Photos for the opportunity of a 28-year-old architect with a new firm to begin the transformation. And further thanks to Father Bill Sullivan, Father Tom Burke, and Father James, Dr. Dan McMahon, and Ed King for giving Mr. Johnson and myself the opportunity to bring our final vision to fruition. Please understand that these leaders dedicated countless hours above and beyond their normal duties in planning, fundraising, design, and construction. Thanks to all of the extra efforts. And also great thanks to the faculty, staff, students, parents, and alumni who further supported these projects in giving of their time, talent, and money. While I'm honored today to know uh, with this award, I am always greatly humbled and excited by the great stories I read about the accomplishment of you, the students, the faculty, and the staff. Do also know that I have been honored each time I have stepped on campus since 1988 by the great care that DeMath takes of these improvements and the great programs that you have implemented in them. In closing, my wife came across this letter and it was from Father Rico, dated April 11th, 1968. It offered me a partial scholarship of $187.50 per year. Well, like the recent Powerball winners, I had to go into hiding. It was a huge sum of money. Seriously, though, like Yogi Berra would say, this was real money. To put it in perspective, at that time, gas was 30 cents a gallon, and we would scrounge through our car to find four or five dollars to fill the tank so that we could get to and from the school for food. Today, perhaps, is a testament to the fact that DeMatha has appreciated a good return on that investment. I do know that my brother and I have received an indeterminable return on our investment here gratefully cherished our time among special people at a very special place. Thank you very much.